Um, hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. Please uh, on, um, join me in welcoming Dr. Uh, Eric Monasili. Dr. Eric Monasili uh, joined us from France. He is full professor at the University of Versailles in France. He, also, he is also chair of the robotic team at the Versailles Engineering Systems Laboratory called LISV, L-I-S-V, and is uh, president of the non-for-profit French national cluster on mobility and handicap called CRM. He passionates about mobility aids, uh, assistive technologies, robotics, and embedded systems. Again, please well, uh, uh, join me in welcoming Dr. Munasili. So thank you, Amin, and thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks for inviting me in Manitoba. So my presentation will be about uh, our works around mobility, but with some particular project coming from computer access to reality, virtual reality application uh, around our field of ro assistive for robotics. So my place is Versailles. Maybe you know Chateau de Versailles, so it's well known uh, over the world. So we are in the southwest of Paris, not so far, and particularly our lab is on Vélizy, is the, the industrial part of, uh, of Versailles. And this lab, uh, this university, sorry, this university has many places around this west part of Paris with juridic, human resource, science, and technology. And University of Versailles is now a part of a new big university named Paris-Saclay on the west part of Paris. We call it the, the banana. It's from the south to the west, and you have here Evry, you have here Saclay with Polytechnic, HEC, all the big uh, partners, uh, Paris Sud, and we are uh, just here. So all together, we are developing Paris Saclay University. With now we have the joined all the doctoral school, uh, the master, and we are looking for uh, new labs. So maybe. On, Around uh, my presentation, I will say something about FEDEV. That's a cluster of lab, and you will see that. So, uh, but yes, I, I remember you have all the partners in uh, Paris Saclay. And for specifically for the movement, we have developed a federation of uh, lab around movement coming from uh, the hospital, like Garch. Garch is a cluster for rehabilitation in hospital. And it's not so clear, but we, you, you have 18 lab around this field of mobility coming from uh, the movement to the uh, inclusive city. And in our lab, we have two teams, one is sensor and the second is interactive robotic. I'm the chair of this team and my topic is more assistive. So the idea is to develop something, technology, robot, system around the, the user. And the, the user is very, is uh, completely at the center of our research. For that, uh, we structure the research in two parts. Coming from the need, the first part is how to evaluate the need. In terms of technology, that means that we develop some functional platform dedicated for different functional tasks, like uh, driving, like wheelchair, computer access. And the idea in terms of research is to develop uh, the methodology to analyze the, the capacity of the user to do many things, to develop specific behavior models. And for that, we need also to develop the functional platform. And the second step of the, the research is to really the, to design the assistive technology. Uh, so, but this kind of different assistive, it could be interface, it could be uh, exoskeleton, or it could be mobility head. We develop it coming from scratch. So uh, mechanical, electronic, computer, and of course the design of all in order to interact with the system. So here it's an example of brain computer interface. This is robotic and this is Girolif. I will present just after. And the particularity of the lab is we are close to uh, the national cluster for mobility aid. It belongs to the uh, to the to France. We have three clusters. One is stimulation. The second is 
uh, ICT and this one is on mobility with different partners like insurance, like association of disabled persons, like uh, people from community, from uh, technology, from company. We are developing three missions. Uh, how to promote, how to help people to train or to uh, develop solutions and we want also, we, we add also companies that want to uh, develop new solutions. So we are working on these different solutions here, design. We test design coming from startup, like here it's an exoskeleton developed in France, so they come in our living lab, we do tests, we do the same thing for mobility, uh, we'll share, we have a driving school and with different car and uh, other bicycle uh, system like this. And this connection with the cluster and the lab, we call it Relais de Mobilité Inclusive, that means inclusive uh, partnership between uh, different actors, so Relais means we are not alone, we have many actors and we, how do you say, transmit the, the, ball, the ball to others to develop solutions. So it's a loop and the idea is to develop many interactions to propose things for the, final, the end user. And one of the partners is uh, in Quebec, so it's open uh, uh, structure. We have another partner in South Africa. So, uh, the idea is also to have partnerships that are complementary in terms of uh, skill. So, for example, in South Africa, they are more for social aspect. In Quebec, for inclusive cities. So, maybe Manitoba, when they could be uh, one partner of this system. And we work as a living lab, so multidisciplinary exchange and uh, connection with lab, university, or other partner. And for that. We need to have some different platform, uh, different research, but in the goal to, to, to come back to the lab, to the research part, uh, the goal of our activities, user behavior model, now we are going to emotional model to take into account this particular uh, aspect, new interface and robotic that could be uh, more light, more soft, uh, to be uh, safe or to be uh, transportable. And of course, we have the problematic of design all the platform. Ah, first project is Playa. Playa is a computer access problematic. So we, we are uh, working with different uh, rehab center hospital. The objective of this, play, uh, this platform, this software, is to help uh, the therapist to, de to define what kind of interface could be dedicated for a specific uh, user, to place the, the different uh, interface and to have all the data. So the therapist could create uh, the test uh, specific for this or due to a protocol. Then you have test and after the test you have all the data. So you can have all the loop for the therapist. This Software is completely open, so you can upload it in uh, playeruvsq.fr and uh, the idea is to create a community between all the therapists because if you are, uh, I don't know, in Manitoba, you have may maybe uh, 10 or a small group of uh, people who want to test, but if you are connected to all the network, you have a uh, big uh, ID. So today the, the player software is in French, but we want with uh, Amin uh, to develop the English version and normally we have also an Arabic version and a Spanish version. So the idea is to develop something that could be helped. We have also, here it's a computer, we have tablet and maybe we could develop a new version. It depends on the need. We start from the need on all the projects. So. Here it was a, a demand from the, this hospital. If you go in this website, you will see all the videos who explain how to use it and so on. So today my talk is more about the, the functional aspect. I, go, I don't go deeply on the theory, huh? just on the use. Here it's a second uh, platform named BCAP. So the objective is to help the therapist to define the capacity to drive of different users. So in this works, we have developed 
a light platform and a, we call it ecological uh, platform. So here we place the people, uh, the user, and we could define all the tests. So here it's difficult to see, but you could have how to use the steering wheel, the pedals, do double tasks. So you could have many uh, tests. You have all the data. It's connected to Playa, but dedicated for driving. And you, uh, you can plug all the, um, uh, the command you can find on a uh, wheelchair. You could test transfer, you could manage uh, the platform. This today was uh, ground by uh, Maif. Maif is uh, a social uh, insurance in France. And they want that uh, we propose it uh, to all the partners who want to buy it. And it's possible to buy it. Uh, uh, so it's not expensive. It's, uh, uh, how do you say that? It's social uh, development. At the beginning, it was uh, developed to replace a car, like you have somewhere, not so far, I don't... Yes, yes somewhere. And uh, so they have got the, the big half of a car. They want to replace with that. So we have two platforms now in France. And we just finished to include on the platform the vision aspect. So today there is a, another institute named uh, Institute for Vision in France. They are the national cluster for that. So now on the test, you will have also uh, the vision test. So you can mix uh, physical activity and uh, vision on the test. And it will be also structure that you can uh, get after. For that, we have tested the same thing with our car. So this car uh, is coming from Germany. You could drive it with steering wheel, but also with different uh, joystick, mini joystick. So you have different things. So the first test was to evaluate the, the behavior of the driver. So we learned how to drive this car, steering wheel, but also joystick. And we test this on the first year of the project. And uh, today we have a school driving school, so we have these uh, things, but we have also all the feedback coming from the student, the learner, the practice, and we have data. So it was developed uh, in collaboration also with Siris at the end. I think, I mean, uh, you work also in this project? Yes. Maybe, yes. For the wheelchair, so for the wheelchair, we, do, we did a lot of things here. Sorry, the display is not completely uh, readable. readable. Uh, what we did is first we define a new index. This index is named style, driving style. So the idea is to complement the objective index, time, duration, uh, uh, number of collision, I don't know, the, the set of index you could have, with another index that is a style. And the objective is to obtain this style from a group, reference group of experts. And then you, you start with a learner and you compare the style of the learner to the different reference group. So we did it uh, just with one information with the joystick. Just Coming from the uh, joystick without odometry or things like that, we uh, complement the information. And for the joystick, we, we develop also a plug you place on the joystick. Uh, it was dedicated for a power wheelchair. So you plug this, uh, name of this plug is Sentjoy. We just uh, published just a few days before in a journal of neuro rehabilitation. So if you want to apply it. So you place this and you have all the data of the activity of joystick. And then we, we analyze the behavior and we develop this. So after this, uh, after different try, for example here, we see that the, the, the user start to stabilize. And we, we hope that at the end it could be a nice index to complement to the other state of index you could have in your uh, therapy, in your protocol. That's the idea. Uh, in terms of mobility, so all the previous project was more in evaluation uh, strategy. Here we are going to the uh, design of new assistants. So uh, this project starts with uh, from a, a, a father who wants for the, uh, the, his boy to develop 
a solution to use this two-wheel balance. So we developed the project GiroLift. So the idea is to place on the two-wheel balance, Segway or what you want, uh, a robotic arm. It could be seen as an exoskeleton. You place it on the system, and because we define a specific kinematic, you could have the standing <coughs> position without perturbation of the system. You know when you use this thing, if you go forward, the system go forward. If you uh, stand, you do the same thing. So the standing is different to obtain something completely stable. We develop the theoretical part and then we develop, sorry, we develop, uh, we develop, <laughs> we develop, uh, okay, I don't know. Ah, yeah. So it was the first prototype. It was a, D, a PhD. So you see, it was with uh, Segway, but now we have three kind of different uh, two-wheel balance systems. So you can plug on the different things. And you see, it's inclusive. In this part, it was used by my PhD, so a valid, healthy person. But it's also a good thing, because if you think about, we told this morning about uh, someone who works in Amazon in a period of uh, Christmas, he do many uh, kilometers during the day, so it will be uh, painful for this. So if you are like this, sit, and if the system could help you to grab some objects, some item on the, on the, comment on dit, uh, et étagère? Shelves. So it could be useful for that. And also, uh, for the people who are in a wheelchair, you could go in or outside, you could take the lift. Even if the lift is not completely accessible, you can turn. You know when you go on the lift with a wheelchair, you go forward and you go out uh, backward. With that, you can turn as we saw this. But in terms of, uh, uh, of stability, that's a problem. It's still a problem. So we automatic control uh, the standing position. If you are standing and if the stability is not very good, we can go uh, down. But today we need to develop a new sensor. So I just explained this morning that we want something to detect the stress of the people uh, driving. But this stress must be monitored without any connection, non-invasive. So what we use, it's a camera. So we are looking for that. We have good results, but we don't evaluate it with a group. So we are looking for that. That's the new part of the project. How to detect that the person stress because there is a problem. And or because if you, for example, if you face uh, people with uh, emotional e effect very hard, it's very uh, difficult to, to go on this system. So we have the security with different solutions to go on the floor. So on the floor, you, if you are instable, you will have small wheels to help you. So all the security are in the system. So it was developed for CES, two CES before. We opened, so it's uh, Elysee, so French. So it was my first time in, uh, in uh, l'Elysee, so with uh, Francois uh, Hollande. So we obtained that, and today, uh, the PhD student is uh, CEO on the company, and normally, to, uh, 2020, the next year, it will be a uh, sale. Uh, firstly, for valid person, and after test for people with disability. In terms of simulation, so here it was a project. Uh, the the objective of the project, the need of the project, was how to sensibilize uh, people to accessibility, how to train the architect, the urbanist to accessibility, and how to help the user to, to train how to drive a wheelchair, manual or powered. So we developed this project, Virtual Fauteuil. Uh, so it's a, a mix words, French and English. And uh, it's like uh, Manitoba, so you speak the two terms. <laughs> so uh, with the cluster, with the lab, and with EDF, Electricité of France, it's like uh, hydroelectric, so I don't know. I don't Okay, Hydro Manitoba. So we developed this. We have two feedback. One is visual, so you are facing, and second is haptic. So you are really uh, feeling that you uh, will on specific floor. And why we choose, or you could have a helmet, but we choose to have something transportable, open, 
open to discussion to other therapies and things. So we want something, it's not a cave, it's a, a small or smart cave. Okay, so we develop this. Uh, the video is going, yes. Uh, so you see the different jack. You have here the rolls. If you have a power, you could change. So it's very easy to change and to have different things. Uh, we test on the living lab, uh, down the stair, or things like that, to test here. So we have the, in fact, we are looking for the immersion, for the realistic feedback, and we obtain this, and uh, we have different. So you see, that's the, the go down. And one thing important is the provider of the jack is a Canadian company. Uh, we include also all the software for the accessibility, so it's more dedicated for architect, urbanist. For example, we work for the bus company, RATP is from Paris. We work for, uh, uh, it's, um, how do you say that? It's a pension, pension, we say? Uh, it's a place for a retired person. So they want to have different uh, management. So we use, so you can choose different parts. You say, okay, maybe here I could have a, a slope or things like that. You could test it. And of course, it's not dedicated only for elderly person. You could choose a different kind of avatar, avatar. And you could say, okay, this guy is healthy, or you could say it's an elderly person. He could just walk 10 meters or 20 meters. You could define, dedicated or specifically uh, define the profile of different user. And we use for RATP, so bus company, uh, Museum Cluny, it's on the middle of Paris, it's a middle age uh, place. So I don't remember, 30 different of floor. So uh, this museum was not completely not uh, accessible. So for the first time, uh, one part of the museum is, is uh, accessible uh, this summer. They use, the architect use this, uh, this software. And EDF, Electricity of France, use also the same thing. Now we are looking for the postural analysis. So we come back to the wheelchair, manual wheelchair. We use Kinect to have something very accessible for everyone. And uh, what we define is its specific path. Imagine you are in Manitoba, uh, in, for example, in a hospital, and the, uh, and the, the person uh, lives in a number, in a specific place. So the idea is to modelize this place, the place, the domestic place of the user, and to test in this uh, particular place uh, how to drive, how to face some particular situation, car, drive, uh, shop, and you test this. But you test also how to avoid obstacle, how to go and to, uh, to be stable. So clinic, uh, positioning clinic and things like that. So we have this, we have data, we are looking for that. And we just define different index. So at the end, now, yes, at the end, uh, we, we mix uh, the platform with the living lab. So we have the uh, virtual reality representation of the living lab, so we can go to the living lab, to the living lab uh, virtually, and to the reality uh, as soon. So we, so you can have Oculus, you can have what you want. It's dedicated for the, the therapist. So today we have uh, five uh, rehab centers who are using this. Uh, they choose different tests. So for example, they don't want to have uh, active roles. They just want to have passive. So we have different options for that. And uh, here you have test. So this guy, uh, uh, Benjamin, is an ergonomist. So we have occupational therapist and ergonomist in the, in the cluster. And of course, robotician and computer science on the lab. And we just 
did a test in the uh, art museum in uh, Montreal. So the objective was to how to test on a specific public place with public uh, uh, users. So here it was uh, how to sensibilize uh, people to accessibility. So uh, we develop in the Chateau de Versailles representation two paths. One is very short, but if you take this, you must change the stair because you cannot. So it means that you have to, to rebuild something that is old and that's constraint. But if you don't want, you can say, okay, go by the garden, but you will do a long, long path. So the constraint is always the same. We have a dilemma between going to modify something like Chateau de Versailles and or to say, okay, you are in wheelchair, go by this way, I wait for you here. We did this with uh, 18 persons. So it was a test with different lab in uh, Montreal. Uh, Hundred of people asked to do test. For us, it was 18 persons. The feedback will be uh, soon analyzed. But from my point of view, uh, the most of the people are elderly, and they just have in mind accessibility. I don't care. My problem is oh, it's a game. It's very interesting to have the game. So all the feedback was one. You must add some flower. It's not uh, Chateau de Versailles. And the second feedback was, I want to have this thing because it's not only uh, software. It's we move. We have some feedback, and it's corporal. So it, maybe we have to look for this. And I propose to Amin to develop things like active mobility because we can do more activity, but we fun. So you mix reality, fun, game, exact game, in fact, at the end. And that could be nice to develop. So it was uh, this. And uh, as I said before, in a personal context. Not, for example, not uh, we don't uh, get uh, Montreal for Manitoba. You take the place of the people where they are, where they live, where they have friends, just to have some motivation on the test. So the idea, uh, that's the idea. And the second idea is because we are specific in Manitoba, it's winter mobility. So we are, we are looking for the friction due to ice, uh, uh, snow and so on. So we start the, this part of the project on the model of the friction and we maybe at the end we will modify the platform we don't know at this moment and maybe after we introduce on the system though that could be a collaboration with you if you want because winter here it's, uh, it's a normal place <laughs> yes it's i don't know <laughs> that it seems um, a second project that maybe it's interesting for you, it's a project we developed with my friend uh, Yashuiza Hirata from Tohoku, so it's a Japanese lab. Uh, we have, we had first a PhD on a relator, so the idea is to place all the sensors on the relator to evaluate the gate, the particularity, so we did these things, uh, you see, just with a few meters, uh, you could analyze and you did that. But we did also this. So it's, you see, maybe last time I, put, I showed this. So uh, the people who have difficulty to work, to use wheelchair, and we develop, in fact, my friend Yashuiza developed this pedaling uh, wheelchair. So the feedback are activity and also mobility uh, facility. So we test the same system in Japan and in France. Here it was in my lab. We had different sensors. We could have manual and uh, powerhead to help the people. For example, for a slope, it's like a bicycle, electric bicycle. We embed on the system. So to avoid uh, different obstacles. So here, again, there are propositions. It could be uh, walking and edging, or it could be uh, pedaling and edging. And also uh, the risk. Here, you could, uh, you could mix this activity with 
also the, the platform, the reality, uh, virtual reality platform. So maybe you can evaluate if you have some slope, some risk to, for example, because we have the postural analysis, if the person slide or if the, there is a risk or appre apprehension, we say? Uh, comment dit appréhension? Uh, if the people are afraid, for example, to cross a, a slope, you have this, uh, you could train the, the, the people to this situation. So many uh, possibilities in this field. And my, oh, it's a new pro, pro, we want to go, we are going to, but I have two projects. One is around art therapy. So here it's more dense. So uh, those dancers develop uh, this chair. Uh, people are dancing. Some are sit, some are stand, and the idea is to promote uh, interaction between uh, different kind of profile of user to have some of this. So today it's not technologic, it's only share with wheels, but we are looking for new strategies. So maybe that could be nice. And the second step is to go to uh, dance, really dance. That's a new project, but it's more design mechanical. We are looking for, we are in this project. But maybe the analysis of the activity of this kind of profile using this kind of, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, seat for dance, I don't know, we have to name it, could be nice to develop together. And of course, all the works was done by many people, so I'm just here because I like to go on the winter, but uh, all the person are belongs on the project. So, you, you have this, and specifically the guy from CRM from the cluster. So thank you again for inviting me, and if you have questions, I'm here for you. Yes. Thanks so much, uh, Eric. That was really good and very uh, clear presentations. Uh, do we have some questions in the room? I know Sky people will have questions for you. <laughs> For the uh, the wheelchair um, modeling in slide 19, I think, where you uh, you had the, the wheelchair from the expert and then from the user. The name is Virtual Fauteuil. I think it was slide 19. Uh, 19? Uh, yeah, before that. Ah, yes, for the this. Yes, one. so for that, um, were you using... Um, I'm not sure if I understood it correctly. Were you using the the model from the the expert user, and then comparing it to the model from the the new user, and then um, using those differences um, in real time with the, the no, new user it's then? not in real time at this okay. time. We it's it's a clustering in fact uh, behind. So uh, at this moment, we want to validate the index with a group. So here it was only with uh, uh, 20 new. Uh, valid uh, user of wheelchair, so we validate the system, but it's offline. Okay. It's offline. We have healthy. online healthy, healthy. healthy. So novice users. Yes, novice. Enfin, in fact, the experts are OT. Uh, main of the are OT, and some engineer on the team who yeah. use everyday wheelchair. And so coming from that, we have the two here. We found two group to expert style. And after we, we plug, or we can connect directly uh, to the joystick, and then we obtain offline uh, the evaluation. So as I say, just after, we obtain this. We, we take, in fact, the distance to the reference group, and we analyze that. Okay. It's very basic, but maybe it could be uh, useful. Yeah, it, it, that would be very useful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, any other questions in the room? Yeah. Hi. Um, I've, I haven't been aware of... of I, I, I haven't thought about the potential for a Segway-type two-wheeled hmm. platform as a, a power chair. It it's looks very interesting because of the, the smaller footprint and the, the yeah, sort of ultra-mobility of it. Um, is, is that... Does it have a real future as the you know the the, 
the standard power wheelchair, the two-wheeled Segway ah. arrangement? If you take a power wheelchair with stands, it's very expensive. So in terms of price, so, so I start by this because it was for that that the university wants to promote and to go to the startup and so on. Uh, one point is uh, the price. Uh, in France, if you have this kind of wheelchair, it's 30,000 uh, 30, euros and it's half if you use this. And maybe because you have a part of uh, the system, the two-wheel balance is coming from the industry and the price is going very uh, decrease. So it's today it's 2,000 or maybe less and uh, with the new Chinese system. And because we plug this system at the end, the target is to have it for uh, 9,000 euros. So it starts to be maybe competitive, I don't know. And the second thing is because the company was normally in France, I don't know here, but I think it's, par it's the same. Uh, the company must promote and must develop uh, policy of mobility for all the people. And so the different kind of company, big company, uh, order for these things. And maybe the price will be at the, uh, the beginning only uh, distribution. You don't have to pay because you are in this company. So after time, maybe you will have this. So that's the problematic of the cost. And after, in terms of uh, use, we have one, I think the, the clue, the, it will be the, the, uh, the emotion, the stress. So we, it is why we are looking for it. Uh, the transfer also, but today we have the solution to, uh, with this um, Becky. Uh, uh, so we have small wheels, walkers, or in fact, casters. casters. So we have this caster to stabilize, to be static. So I think in terms of transfer, we will do the test uh, next year huh, with different groups. But the problematic for me, I anticipate will be the stress. So it is why we are looking for that and to help the user. For valid, it's very common. If you use a Segway or this kind of two wheels, after five minutes, it's okay. In fact, the problem is more the risky behavior. <laughs> after time, you go like skiing and you do a little uh, more uh, risky activity. So with that system, and that will be online, we monitor to assist so we have, for example, we have test how to discuss, to say quiet or things like that with a, a vocal synthesis. So we have these things. But the, the, the clue will be uh, the paraplegia people or cerebral palsy people who will test next year. That will be so. Great, thank you. Thank you, great question and great answer as well. I'm thinking of Segway basketball. Um, tremendous participation potential for um, young adults who mm. have um, disability um, to participate in sports and you know moving around in the community and Thanks. being able to do um, the kind of activities that young adults do. And certainly, I'm thinking of the folks at Sky. Some of those little 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 folks, you know, there's just tremendous potential here. And to uh, complement my answer. Uh, uh, the image. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, it's very exactly. positive. It's very smart, very young, and so. So everybody will want one. Exactly. Uh, for for the sport, I did uh, tennis with this, with the first prototype, I, because I play tennis, and I did also golf, because we had last year uh, the um, the big uh, contest in golf, uh, Ryder Cup, uh, the big Ryder Cup. So. During this Ryder Cup, it was in Versailles, in Saint-Quentin, just in Versailles. So I organized a workshop on golf and uh, people, and it's Andy Golf. It's, uh, I don't know if, handicap and golf. And uh, so the question about golf, because you can play golf, uh, or some, there are many ways to practice golf. So we use this, so I do swing and so on, but at this, with the first prototype, so we need to block at the moment. But I did golf. I did also tennis, and for the tennis, it could be also a good thing, because it's very, after two or three minutes, you understand that you could do things. The only thing I need to block, if you do this, okay, uh, the system continues to small, but it could be nice. So we, we planify, 
with the, the new version uh, of the company, uh, the last version, we planified to do tests for sport because of the image and because of uh, uh, it's a way to participate to the city. It's very important. You could also incorporate dance into that. Yeah. Alors, for yeah. the dancing, I, it was, as I said just before, it was my first idea uh, to develop this for dancing. Uh, but for the moment, I want to go in another way, uh, using more closing. Uh, it will be more a body way. Uh, for the moment, we are, uh, how do you say, uh, hidden uh, part of the work. I think at the beginning of uh, January, February, we will show something new. And, but it's still possible to use this. because I'm the physio side of things and we're talking a lot about standing and with the little kids. Um, I'm just wondering, because some of the pictures that I saw of the Segway and them standing, does it get past, like it almost looked like there was a fixed still contracture for hip flexion and knee flexion and I'm wondering if it's ever gonna get fully upright or if it does now already. Alors, for the moment, we block. Alors, first we test only with valid person. Okay, that's important. The next version, we test all the things. The second thing, in terms of uh, postural, we block all the uh, lower part, here, the, uh, the foot and so, and we analyze this uh, standing with uh, motion capture. And the, the objective of this analysis was not pain, but how to stabilize the standing without moving. So we want to face this problematic of standing with specific population of users next year, with the next future. What we, we add, because if the, perp the person wants to stand on a slope, so what we did is to add also a sliding seat to help this standing, even if you are a slope. So, and the benefits will be to have more degree of freedom to be uh, personalized uh, the stabilization. So we have the technology, here, uh, technology, uh, and we need to test. Normally, we're supposed to do need, technology, and test, but here we go straightly to the technology because it was pushing by the CEO and so on, the startup things. But at the end, in next year, and the year is coming very soon now, uh, we will have the, these things to test. Here there is a very nice information that I got from you. Uh, you have a sliding chair to deal with the slopes and every irregular um, um, ground, right? So I think there is a lot of applications, whether it's winter condition or even like I'm thinking about rural uh, areas, um, uh, indigenous community where it's really rough to go. So I'm thinking about can you use that like a damping system to make sure the uh, Segway user is stable all the time? We, we did it in a previous test, uh -huh. at the f and we, for example, to test the, the stress, we use GiroLift on the virtual platform. So we mix the two to be uh, safe for the test, so it's possible. One thing uh, maybe I miss is that platform, I mean uh, virtual fauteuil, is today in the series. So if, by the way, if you have chance to go it. this, so we we how do you say that we transport our platform and one copy is completely in uh, Quebec City. Have you other copies of that? <laughs> I don't have in my pocket, but uh, <laughs> we can deal with that. Okay. <laughs> no, but it's very easy, in fact, because it's very transportable yes. and uh, the technology is uh, mature today. So we can uh, imagine a collaboration on that. It's not. We have to define a memory dome and yeah. things like that because we are a university, but it's open. Yeah, because I think here is specifically in Manitoba and um, uh, many parts of Canada where we have a lot of rural communities and in indigenous communities, there is some solutions when you look into this literature. You will find very expensive solutions or very big, like trucks and you know big wheels and uh, stuff like that. So I think this is one of the solutions that can be a relatively low cost yes. and maybe accepted by user. It's like regular uh, and fun chair. and maybe fun we developed uh, another platform in south africa in the the other lab we had and it's maybe half of the of the room so it's very big so but here we we 
we, we want to have something light, user uh, yes, yes. semi cave. Yes. So maybe we have uh, a couple of minutes left. Uh, maybe one last comment from you uh, is that you traveled now in Canada, you got an idea about what's winter in uh, Montreal and Manitoba. Can you from that um, uh, uh, share your vision about the future of the winter mobility, which actually your team and our team here is leading that internationally. So maybe now we can start discussing about should we go in lab conditions, should we go to the community, do we need data now from communities? Those, so maybe just share your uh, vision in a couple of minutes. My vision is always to, to mix uh, the, the both sides, to obtain data from the user, then you, you feedback to your, so you have something complement. We developed this thing with the live, uh, Living Lab, but you have the possibility to have the community. That's very important because you have things to do test. Maybe also it's a new town, so everything is open. Uh, you don't have mountain, so maybe you have the opportunity to do, to do, to do test. So I think for me, the collaboration because when you collaborate, you need to have uh, balancing between the, the two partners. You have this thing, uh, living lab, uh, you have many people with different speciality, uh, good university and different hospital, rehab, uh, uh, Riverside, uh, I don't remember, yeah, Riverview. So you have many actors. So that's completely uh, interesting to collaborate. We are more technology for part, maybe you have technology also. And we have also this cluster, so you could have, uh, it's a part of the Projet Relais des Mobilités, in fact, you, you could be a part of the Relais. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, please applaud Mr. Uh, Munasili once again. Merci. Very nice presentation, we really uh, enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. And I prefer doing that than getting my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you again. <laughs>